I don't know. If yeah, I don't remember when exactly that. it was that I um, played DMC, but uh, I mean, it was it was a long, we long time ago. I might have to redo this. You're heckin' tired, but doing good. Would you believe that I haven't played this series? You definitely should, Rue. It's another, it's another great one. Like, uh, like God of War, for instance. <laughs> but you have played God of War, right? I'm pretty sure we've talked about that before. You playing that. It's, uh, similar in some aspects, but, I mean, it's, uh, different in a lot of ways, too, so. Um, should I make the stream mature? I probably should. Why not? Yeah. Devil may cry. Check out the options and whatnot real quick while we're, uh, waiting for everybody else to get on in here. Um... Monitor tuning? Okay. Do we need... So the color bar below the red line cannot be seen. I mean, I can see nearly all the colors above the red line. <laughs> Could maybe actually have it a tiny bit brighter, though. Let me go to the capture. Do we have everything set? No, we don't want that. We want We want that to be set like that. Uh, yeah, I don't know. 601 bright brightens it up a little bit, but I don't know if I like that. We'll just put it on default. That's fine. You've heard it's good, but you never heard. But you never heard anyway. It's kind of like God of War, so that makes me want to play it more. Besides, everyone I know is always saying how cute, cool Dante is. That's his name, right? That's one of them. Yeah. You always end up making the game brighter anyways to make it easier. Yeah, I mean, that's... I usually do, too, to be honest with you. If it had a slider to mess with, I probably would, but it doesn't. <laughs> so I can't actually make it any brighter without just, like, upping the the uh, settings in OBS or something like that. Hey, Mr. Noodle, glad you could make it here, love. And yeah, it's not exactly like God of War, don't get me wrong. It's like God of War in the way that it's a... Uh, a... a uh, a very visual, visual, visceral kind of combat thing. But, I mean, obviously you have, like, guns and stuff here, which you don't have in Devil May Cry. Or, I'm sorry, in God of War. Two years ago, there was a war between the human world and the other, the underworld. But somebody from the underworld woke up to justice and stood up against this legion alone. His name was Sparta. Later, he quietly reigned the human world and continued to preserve harmony until his death. He became a legend. The legendary Dark Knight, Sparta. Yeah, yeah, graphic and combat-wise, yeah, exactly. That's, uh... <laughs> like, story and everything, obviously, way, way different, but... And, I mean, it introduces guns and all that sort of stuff. I feel like there's a name for this genre, but I can't remember what it is. But I've heard people call them something. Devil May Cry. I'm sorry, we closed at nine. I forget her name. It's been a long time since I played the games. I can't seem to get any real business. Whoa, slow down, babe. Well, well, what do we have here? Nature calls? It's in the back. So, you must be the handyman who'll take any dirty job. Am I correct? Almost. I only take special jobs. If you know what I mean. You're the man who lost a mother and a brother to evil 20 years ago. The son of the legendary Dark Knight Sparta. Mr. Dante? Well, the way I figure it, in this business, a lot of you are kind comes around. And if I kill each one that comes, eventually I should hit the jackpot sooner or later. In that case, you should be used to this sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <clears throat> way to get fucked, dude. Oh my god, my controller's like vi vibrating out of the control. So that is Sparta, and Sparta was the horn dude. Also, out. <laughs> Very out. Sword. 
Time to go to work, guys. Even as a child, I had powers. There's demonic blood in me. What strength? You were the first one to know about my inventions. It looks like I'm getting closer. Yeah, I'm trying not to talk over it because it doesn't seem to have subtitles. Way, but I'm Even though I could have swore we hadn't turned on. My name is Trish. I came here to seek your help. To put an end to the underworld. What? Dun, dun, dun. I'll go back into the settings real quick as soon as we get into the game. Can't really do shit while it's, uh... Cutscene city, the though. Emperor of the underworld resurrected. Mundus. Yes. His powers were sealed by Sparta. He's attempting to gain control of the human world once again. He has been preparing to open the gate on Malay Island. We went into the options before you got here. I, I thought there was a subtitle option, but honestly, I can't even remember for sure if there was one there. Literally just pulled a sword out of his chest. Yes. Yes, he did. <laughs> the castle is above this cliff. See? See? Oh, Ruse got me. Go. Ruse got my back, man. Yeah. He saw it. I remember nothing about this game, by the way. Um... Like, I remember what the game is and whatnot, but I don't remember any of the puzzles or how any of the, uh... Enemies are taken down. Like, basically nothing. So we got Ebony and Ivory. Those are our guns. The Devil Arms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can check how to execute Dante's skills. Can we not go into... There we are. Options. That's what I want. Yeah, see? Subtitles on. They are on. It's just, uh... <laughs> Yep. <laughs> the subtitles are just trash, I guess. I don't I don't really know what to say there. I do want to do one thing really quick. I just want to make sure I have my upscaler set to Hey, Canes, what's up, man? Thank you for the subscription. I really appreciate that. Um there we go, unlimited. I must be on the wrong profile. Let me go back. Load profile slot. Oh, that's widescreen. Which one is it? I don't know. They both look... They both look right. <laughs> I could have swore I had one for each. RGB limited. There we go. I must have set that to full at some point. Probably while I was just playing a game on my own. Um, yeah, so... My capture setup's weird. Like, even though my monitor and everything can support full color space, for some reason... OBS doesn't like it. Like, I have to have OBS set to full color space, but if I have my upscaler set to full and that, it just doesn't work. Like, it just makes everything too dark. So that should help brighten it up a little bit more than what we had. Yeah, yeah. So the subtitles are turned on, but I guess it just doesn't work in cutscenes. I don't really understand that at all, but sure, why not, right? <laughs> And have we seen cutscenes, or shit, cutscenes, have we seen subtitles outside of the cutscenes? I feel like we haven't seen them there either. It makes me wonder if the subtitles are just broken in general. Break the evil spell and open the cursed door. Mission start. That's seriously rude? No kidding. Or rude. Weird. <laughs> seriously rude. So circle is just a regular attack. Triangle is jump. R1 just brings up that junk. That's our map. That's a taunt, it looks like. <laughs> also, I'm guessing Lady is important because of a picture, or does she just look like his mom? I don't remember, like, at all, man. I'm sure it's important for some reason. Don't. I'm assuming we shouldn't get grabbed by the, the strange hand there. Although, it seems like it just phases right through. Oh, nope, it's fine. <laughs> The store is sealed shut. I need 45 red orbs to open it. Okay. And it does damage. That's fine. 
What do we get? Red orb. A red stone used to unlock new skills and doors. To acquire new skills, you must offer the stones to the god of time. Interesting. Okay. Can we go through this other door? This door is sealed shut. A rusty key may help. All right, we can do that. <laughs> How oddly specific and Jesus fuck that face. <laughs> can we, uh... Jump. There we go. Okay. I'm not good with depth. I hear some music. Like some, some orchestral stuff. Just out of one ear, though. It's a little creepy. The whole the whole mansion thing here and everything is making me think some some Resident Evil vibes, man. Wait, is that something on the ground there? Oh, that was an orb. It was a lot smar smaller than the others, but I guess the others probably gave us like five, right? This one only that one only gave us one, so that would be why. Have an emoji since you don't have no bits. <laughs> I appreciate your emojis just as much as the bits, love. Thank you. What is this? This statue must be the Watcher of Time. This god knows and remembers all of the past. Feels like the camera view is ass. The words of this god are engraved. Those who desire to acquire the ancient ways of war shall offer the blood of monsters in exchange. So we give this dude the, the red orbs. I kind of, I mean, some of the camera views are a little bit weird, but I actually kind of like fixed camera angles in games. It's not responding. I better unseal the door beneath here first. Oh, so we don't give them directly to it, I suppose. You almost forgot you told your boss about you and get this. He said he's moving his streams to Twitch. Hey, where's uh, where's he streaming at now? YouTube or something? I like, uh, I don't know. I've always been a big fan of Twitch. I've been around on Twitch for a long ass time, to be honest. Uh... Streamed under a couple different accounts at different times, but never really took it seriously until more lately, you know, the past uh, handful of months. And then uh, this is where I prefer to watch other people stream and stuff, too. Twitch has just got a, it's got a nice setup, you know? It feels right, man. Although, YouTube and stuff like that aren't, aren't bad. And I spend a shit ton of time watching stuff on YouTube, so I really can't say anything bad about it. Like, that's where I spend the majority of my time watching anything. Is on YouTube. That feels like a door or something we should be able to look at, but nope. Oh, that was cool. YouTube, but YouTube is being a dick for them, so they're moving it to here. So you bet your ass you're sending you his profile so you can see why I thought YouTube might be the same person. <laughs> uh, what do they stream, if you don't mind me asking? Is it, like, mostly gameplay and stuff like that, or do they do something else? Oh, uh, I feel like we can make that jump, man. It feels, like, super close. 3D printing and video games? I vaguely remember you mentioning that, actually. Now that you said the 3D printing, because I mentioned around the same time that I'm also into the whole 3D printing thing, but I just don't own a 3D printer yet, or I would probably mess around with it a lot more. His hair isn't as long as yours, but still. <laughs> um, okay. The door is sealed shut. A rusty key may help. Okay, we haven't got the rusty key. Can't seem to go anywhere else. We got... Oh, we do got the 45 orbs, though. Holy shit. Didn't even notice, man. That didn't take all that long at all. Take my orbs, bro. Used 45 red orbs. Broke the seal. And what we got? It's basically that in a podcast in one, so you think I'd like it. They also get in-depth about the prints and how they set it up. And Mr. Noodle got stuck on 3D printing TikTok. Really, love? I didn't even know that. The orb fragment also knows the fragment of life, but it's only one-fourth of the whole piece. When it's become whole, it will have the power to increase the vitality's maximum limit. Very cool. So that's how we get our uh, HP upgrades and shit like that. I like it. I like it. Speaking of podcasts, uh, Dorseman and I have been talking about trying to get a somewhat consistent schedule set up for the podcast we're hoping to start doing sunday nights um nearly every week for the podcast we don't know for sure yet if that's gonna happen but that's kind of that's kind of the plan though 
That's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna shoot for. Um, I have a semi-consistent schedule, so at work, so it's not all that bad for me. But uh, he sadly does not have a very consistent schedule. His is a little all over the place. It's 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 uh, it's a bit of a mess to be honest. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna do the best we can though with the time that we got. Cool wiggly dra dragons and slugs and fat Pokemon. What? <laughs> what the hell? Wiggly dragons and slugs. I'm surprised you've never showed me any of the uh, 3D printing stuff since you know I'm into it. It's a puppet that resembles the residents of this castle. Mr. Noodle should love that, man. She loves some. Uh, she loves some puppets. For the most part, you have no idea what the hell they're talking about, but it's interesting nonetheless. I know you recently saw something about 3D printed swords on TikTok, like like full scale swords or <laughs> like what kind of swords man like little play swords because like full size that's sick man that's dope you love what puppets like this like the the like the marionette doll thingy here i mean it's not moving right now at least not yet it might be eventually i honestly don't remember like i said it's been a long ass time since i played this it's been long enough at this point that I might as well just consider this a, uh, a new playthrough, because it has been... Uh, oh, shit, I was a teenager not too long out of high school. 10... 10, 11... Probably like 12 years ago, give or take, since I played this thing. Oh, there we go. That's a dope-looking uh, little puppet thing there. Ventriloquist type. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if these are what you would call ventriloquist type, but uh, yeah, they're they're a little creepy looking though, in my opinion. I eh, got a rusty key, very cool. Damn it, wrong there. <laughs> it's all right, Rue. I'll forgive you this time. I mean, I screw up the English language constantly when I'm speaking it, so I think you're allowed to uh, screw up spelling every once in a while. You were a teenager 12 years ago. That means you were 31. Uh, no, so. I'm 29, yeah, 29, but I got out of school early. I got out of high school when I was 16, went to college when I was 17, um, almost 18. It was like uh, four or five months before I turned 16, or sorry, before I turned 18 that I went to college, so yeah. And it was roughly uh, around 17, because I was out of high school, I'm fairly certain. But I definitely wasn't in college yet whenever I played this game through the first time, so... I'm estimating I was about 17. 12 years ago, give or take. At least you can remember, and you got one hell of a college experience. <laughs> so there you go. The dolls came to life, love. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're busy? Sorry, you can't see? Oh, that's right. You said you were crafting. I forgot you said you were uh, doing some crafts down there, love. Yeah, so we get uh, bonuses for pulling off cool combos and stuff like that of uh, certain lengths. And if I remember, I think we might get graded at the end of a level. Putting a question mark on that. I can't remember for sure, but I th think that's right. Um, also, this is new. Wait, this all changed this is the same way we came from right <laughs> i know my memory's bad but i don't remember all this being over here a moment ago there are three openings to insert something okay so we need to get three things of some sort can we go up the ladder there's a ladder but the lid is closed and you can't go through fair enough some gross looking water and some less gross looking water blue orb fragment also known as the fragment of life but it's only one fourth yeah 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 we gotcha this is the chain to wind up the iron lattice gates on the lower floor it's too heavy to lift even with my strength okay so man we must have made a different turn at some point because <laughs> This is not where I thought we were going to end up at. This game seems like a pound in the ass. It's not uh, it's not that bad from what I remember, but again, long time. Could very well be forgetting. Founder badge, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just got my uh, 
my status, what, a few years ago? Or a few years ago, Jesus, I wish. No, my, uh, <laughs> my affiliate status a few months ago is what I meant to say, so. You're pretty early in the game. And for as far as the whole PS2 gauntlet things goes, you're pretty early in the game. We're still, uh, this is right around game 50. I haven't checked to see exactly what game it is yet, but, uh, right around 50. A few years ago, yeah. <laughs> oh, if only I had taken streaming seriously whenever I first got into it, when I was like 18, then uh, who knows, man, what would be possible right now. But, oh, that's right. We came up the stairs is where we actually came from. What are all these noises? I'm guessing that's the enemies that are up here. If I could jump up there. I mean, I don't really think we need to fight them, though. But, ah, screw it. Whatever. We get stuff for fighting them, right? Experience and shit. Love how you joined at God of War and you were like two months in. It was like instant fun time. Yeah, man. It was a good stuff. I mean, it helps that God of War is just an insanely good game, too. And then, of course, you had uh, Nate to bullshit with about all the anime and whatnot that we were talking about at the time. So, <laughs> this music is fucking rocking. No kidding, man. Got a great metal soundtrack to it. Speaking of metal, I was surprised. I was watching the uh, Gran Turismo 7 trailer and... Uh, I saw that Bring Me the Horizon, I don't know if any of you guys are fans, but they made a track for Gran Turismo 7, which uh, isn't something that I expected at all, you know, BMTH in a Gran Turismo game, but I'm here for it, and uh, they are more than welcome to include all the BMTH music they would like in that game, because I love the Gran Turismo series, or at least the, uh, the ones that I've played. And I love BMTH, so hell yeah, dude. Love how there were no enemies at first, and now they are everywhere. Yeah, no kidding, man. All over the damn place. Okay, so it must have been this door that we came through. Yeah, 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 okay. This is the one I was thinking of. So the door upstairs opens this gate, but we can't get there yet. We did get a rusty key, though, so we can go back here go through this door if we could get around this shit yeah 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 yeah. i don't know i don't remember how we switch weapons if we have to come in here and do it this weapon is currently equipped there we go and then oh okay so <laughs> it's equipped but how do we shoot it r1 nope r2 that's just taunt l2 nothing directional keys Directional keys don't appear to do anything. Yep. I mean, it says they're equipped. I'm sure we... Oh, there we go. Uh. Okay, it seems like we can only shoot the guns while we're in air. <laughs> I don't... I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember at all. But... I have a rusty key now. I know. It's amazing, ain't it? <laughs> you love Obey. You actually only ever heard their Semper Paternal album before that during the early days of high school. Yeah. Their, I mean, their uh, early music was a bit rough IMO, but still very good. Um, at least in my opinion. You know, I really liked it. Their newer stuff is also really good, but they, they kind of went on a bit of a poppy kick for a moment um, and then brought it back to some of the heavier stuff. Their last album was really good. It had a lot of video game inspired stuff in it. Like uh, they did a game or a, a song called Parasite Eve based off of, you know, or inspired by that video game. They did a song with Amy Lee. That one's pretty good. Uh, Baby Metal. They did a song with Baby Metal, which I think is really cool. Um, what else? Oh, they did a Resident Evil inspired song. Like they did a lot, of, a lot of cool shit on that album, in my opinion. Definitely worth giving a listen. And I'm pretty sure they're working on doing another album. No idea when it's going to come out, but, you know. Man, I, I could have swore... Oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> we just got strung up like the marionettes there for a second. That was, that was a thing. We can... I could have swore you can use the, the guns just kind of a little more freeform than what it's letting us do, but... I may be thinking of like something later on once we unlock more abilities or uh, 
possibly one of the other Devil May Cry, ga Cry games even. I've only ever beat the first one, but I have played bits of some of the other ones. Jesus, man, they are coming from everywhere. We're gonna end up freaking dying here. Do we have like a dodge or something? Uh, it doesn't seem like it, okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, I think we're dead. <laughs> the guns don't look very powerful. No, they do not. <laughs> I'm sure they'll end up uh, being more powerful as time goes on. But yeah, they're not really doing shit to these uh, marionette dolls. And we're dead. <laughs> uh, oh, Amy Lee, uh, someday the only butterflies left will be the butterflies in your chest. Something like that. I don't remember. <laughs> butterflies B-M-T-H. One day the only butterflies left will be in your chest. That's the name of it. <laughs> Answer Rue before they have a stroke. Oh, okay. So yellow orbs let us retry. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Noodle stream is failing me. Make him find out. I was looking it up. You got to give me a moment. There's a delay. I do have the low latency mode on, but there is still a bit of a delay, sadly. Okay, so I'm going to go back in that room in a moment, but I think maybe we should uh, explore a little bit first, see if we can collect some goodies of some sort. Although, it's not really looking like it, is it? What are these doors? I don't even remember. Which one did we come from? All right, we came from blue. So can we go through the red one? There's something written... The 17 puppets are my masters. There will be no admission as long as my masters are here. Okay, so we have to kill... We have to kill the 17 puppets. I'm guessing those are the, the puppets in the next area. So once we kill them, we can come through this door, I'm assuming. Or is it the 17 puppets? Are there 17 puppets hanging around here? Can we hit them? Doesn't seem like we can hit these ones, so it must be talking about the ones in the other area. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay, yep. So I guess there's nowhere to go but uh, down. And hope for the best. <laughs> Not a huge fan of this game, to be honest. Is it because of the, uh, the puppets, for some reason? The puppets bothering you a little bit, love? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's a pretty good game. I'm surprised Nate's not here. He must uh, have taken an early night or something like that. Because I know Devil May Cry is a series that he really enjoys. Oh, there we go. Okay, so when enemies are around, we can hold R1 to shoot. But yeah, it seems like, other than the fact that the guns are loud as hell, it seems like they don't really do a whole lot of damage. So it probably won't do much for our score at the end of the, the level. But we can take out the enemies and, and you know, be safe, not die. He's going to be disappointed he missed this, probably, yeah, to be honest. Eventually, I'll get it uploaded to YouTube, though. I am way behind on getting things uploaded to YouTube. I, uh, I still have all of the footage from all of the games, so they'll be uploaded eventually. But, yeah. I haven't, uh, I haven't done it in a couple weeks. <laughs> dude, 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 I'm busy and can't watch. Yeah, uh-huh, sure you are, love. Yeah, I mean, the guns are cool, but I kind of just want to beat the hell out of the people with my massive sword. We just need some, uh, chains of Sparta or something like that, you know? So we can get a little bit of range on our sword. There we go. Was that 17? I wasn't counting collect all the the orbs of power here the the life blood essence of the uh other dudes nine there was nine so uh maybe when we go back up there will be more up top now question mark chaos blades yeah every game they have a different name though so blades of uh, chaos there's are one of them athena's blades i don't remember the name of all of them yep there we are <laughs> we got more 
Puppets everywhere. Ghost of Sparta was Blades of Athena. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought that was one of them. Uh, get down. That move really hurts, man. <laughs> Whenever they string us up, that is uh, it's not a good look. Good look. I need one of those uh, controllers that has the the rapid fire button that just automatically fires for you. I'm wearing out my thumb over here, beating on that square button. 225, so can we buy any upgrades now or do we have to do that like later? You can check how to execute Dante's skills. While holding R1 button, press the left analog stick in the direction of Dante's back and the circle button. Then continue holding down the circle button to jump. Finally, while jumping, press the circle button again to slash down. Okay. Press triangle while jumping against walls and on enemies. Oh. I didn't know we could do that. That's cool. We can do a roll. While holding R1, press the left analog and triangle. Nice. Okay, so we can only roll side to side. Oh, but we can do like front flips and back flips and stuff. So R1's just like a, a strafe mode and also like brings out our guns. All right, dope. And then we can wall jump. Hey, there we go. Okay, so maybe we can get this thing up here this way somehow. Uh, come on. Nope, nope, not that way, Dante. The other way. There we go. So that's what? That's the third one of those. We need one more of those to increase our vitality. I think there was another one in the main room. Let's go back real quick. Maybe we can get a hold of it now that I know that we can wall jump. Because it was, uh... Yeah, there's something up there. I don't... I can't tell if that's one of the pieces or not, though. But then there's also... Ah, come on. Maybe if we jump off this wall. Yeah, there we go, man. So that should be four. Blue orb, 4-4. Four, four. Nice. The fragments have combined to make one whole blue orb. The vitality's maximum limit will be increased. Love it. So I never did figure out, though. Can we... Actually power up? Rare stone that revitalizes energy. A memento of Dante's mother. In the back is an engraving. Virgil and Dante. Okay. Wait, what? You can select your gun. A memento of Dante's father, Sparta. This item is currently equipped. Weird. So I'm guessing if we have, like, multiple weapons, we can change through them here. I'm thinking is what that is. Okay. Yeah, whatever. We'll figure out more as we go along. What kind of name is Virgil? I mean, what kind of name is... I don't know. Any name, really. They're all just a made-up mixture of, of letters and things that we make sounds with our mouth to... You, you know what? Words are weird. That's all I'm saying. Okay? Just saying words are weird, man. <laughs> does it does it really matter? Virgil's a bit weird, maybe, but I'm sure to, to somebody, uh, my name would be weird or your name would be weird or, or whatever. All names are weird. Also, we got that door open. Does that Sand of Time dude do anything for us now? It's normally Virgil with an I. That's true. That's true. But I mean, maybe in the demon realm, where where Dante and them come from, the spelling with E is more common. Must be the Watcher of Time. This god knows and remembers all of the past. The words of this god are engraved. Those who desire to acquire the ancient ways of war shall offer the blood of monsters in exchange. There we go. Power up. You can acquire health, magic, and other enhancement items. We can get the Devil Star. A crystal with magical powers will recover five Devil Trigger gauges. Uh, I don't think we got that stuff unlocked yet. Rare stone that revitalizes energy. We got Holy Water. Water of Divine Blessings that holds the power to eliminate all the evil that's around you. That's pretty cool. You swore to know a guy with the name Virgil, and for about seven years, you thought his name was Herschel? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> Why would... Herschel? I mean, okay, in Mr. Noodle's defense, she is, uh... She has some problems with her hearing. 
Um, but like, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious, man. Herschel. <laughs> I'm surprised nobody ever corrected you, or did you just never say their name? Purple Orb, increase the maximum number of your Devil Trigger gauges, thus increasing the time you can be in Devil Trigger state. So wait, can we afford that, or can we just not buy it at all? I'm guessing we just can't buy it at all right now. And then Yellow Orb, Sacred Stone that brings back life after death. We know what that does, because we died once already. So okay, so so we can just we can we can go to the the god of time to get stronger as the game progresses. Not much we can do with them right now though. Your boss yelled at you and was like, "Dude, but well, you're partially deaf," so she started laughing so hard. Was that when you worked at McDonald's or where you work at now? Oh, that was the end of the the mission. Shit. Okay. So we collected 272 orbs. You got a clear time of 26 minutes, 31 seconds. Not a great rank. Devil Hunter rank D. We got the D, guys. <laughs> I'm pretty sure... Shouldn't your boss have already known that you were partially deaf? Like, you can't hear shit either, Kane. All the teens at work don't understand it. And you're like, hey, you work at factories every day for years. Yeah, Noodle's got a... Uh, a uh, genetic disorder that uh, sadly causes some problems with hearing and uh, vision and stuff like that. But, fingers crossed, you know, it will never get uh, all that bad. She sees specialists for it every once in a while and all that bullshit, so. <laughs> Retail and fast food, you get yelled at all the time, so everyone is going to go deaf eventually? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Vision astigmatism sucks. Yeah, I got the astigmatism myself, man. I feel you there. Taking forever to save the game. Holy shit. In your defense, he's a super, super annoying customer that comes in every once in a while, and I swear he said, hey, tell so-and-so Herschel said hi. I didn't mean to click on file. Oh, wait, so we didn't actually save yet? We just... Okay, well, yeah. Write a save, then. We do want to save. She was like, who the fuck is Herschel? <laughs> oh. Next mission. Continue right along. Easy automatic mode. In this mode, you'll be able to perform and enjoy many different moves with simplified controls. With just one button, you'll be able to perform many different sword actions depending on the situation. You'll also be able to fire without pressing R1 to aim. Plus, by holding down the fire button, you'll be able to rapid fire. From here on, you'll be able to play in easy mode. Will you switch to easy mode? No. Although, being able to rapid fire with the press of a button sounds really nice. But we're not gonna... <laughs> we're not gonna go easy mode. Mine, uh... My eye doctor never said, but I imagine it's probably mild. To be honest. So I'm not 100% certain, but, like... I can't imagine it's extreme. There's a scale. They said they never they never mentioned. They just said uh, you're short sighted or near sight short sighted. You're a short sighted son of a bitch. No, <laughs> they said uh, you're near sighted with a bit of an astigmatism, and then gave me. I've never actually looked at my prescription card either, to be honest with you. I use uh like my I get my glasses and and my eye doctor and everything all in the same place. So they just kind of handle everything. I'm sure they've given me my prescription, but I've never looked, so. <laughs> you just have the usual depression and anxiety. Also, stream can't speak English example. Wait, you're gonna run out of numbers eventually, Rue. I'm just warning you, man. It's gonna happen, like. You can't count forever. <laughs> it's a landscape painting. There's an eerie aura surrounding it. Cool, okay. It's a painting of a war. <laughs> very, very useful. I love, like, who was building these castles back in the day and were putting creepy-ass things on the wall like that thing up there, you know? Like, who in the right mind was building this shit and was like, you know what we need? We need a, a silhouette of a man's head peeking out of the wall because that's totally normal looking. Can we, like, get you off of me, please? How do we, uh, how do we roll again? That's it. 
Rue can do anything they put your mind to, so hush. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, Rue is incapable. I'm saying that I don't think there's enough numbers in the world for how much I mess up the language. See, that happens in the day we're all in the afterlife. You can go to the billions, watch me. <laughs> I'm sure you probably will. Will have to, at least. <laughs> So the game rewards you for going fast, but it also has like a bunch of exploration elements and stuff to it. So you need to explore fast, I guess. <laughs> need to get something to make those guns more powerful, for real though. But it doesn't seem like I can do anything about it right now. Whenever we check the power-up screen, it, there wasn't anything that I saw about making like the guns more powerful. Um, so you know. Maybe, maybe marionette dolls just aren't that weak to, to gun bullets, gun bullets, that makes sense. <laughs> it's honestly, it's kind of odd that they are bleeding at all. You know, you would think with them being giant puppets, giant dolls, they, uh, they wouldn't really have much blood to shed, but I don't know, man. Goes to show how much I know about dolls. You thought, like, nearly anything could be shot to death? I mean, that's what Sam and Dean taught me, you know? <laughs> it doesn't really matter what it is. If you got the right kind of gun, you can shoot it to death. Maybe they were once human? Maybe. That makes sense. Ah, no, there's got to be, like, a way to break out of that, too. Whenever they, they string you up and grab you and stuff like that. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Just die, you bastards. Dolls, dolls everywhere. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Well, kind of in the face. More like in the chest. I can't really aim, so. <laughs> Me to myself every morning, I'm going to shoot you in the face or something else. <laughs> I hope you're not saying that to yourself every morning. That's a little, uh, <laughs> little much, Rue. Oh, you dick. Just die already. <laughs> oh, that's great, man. I mean, that's terrible. Don't say that. But also, that's great. <laughs> There's a painting of a middle-aged man. Very cool. Thank you for sharing, game. So you can knock them like 20 feet back with your sword attack. But when you shoot them, they just look at you like you're stupid. Pretty much. Yep. <laughs> Don't we have a rusty key? Like, couldn't we have just brought the rusty key from the last area here and put it in, in, in the door? We're in the same mansion, are we not? Bruh, can we take that sword? There's a sculpture of a female in agony with a sword pierced through her chest. Wait, I can hear a voice. <laughs> I am Alistair. The weak shall give their heart and swear the eternal loyalty to me. Oh, hi, friend. Ouch. Well, GG, guys. Good game. But, uh... <laughs> Go fuck yourself, Alistair. <laughs> I thought you were saying that maybe they were once human to yourself every morning. That's <laughs> that would be great, too. Just wake up, look at yourself in the mirror. Ugh, maybe you were once human. <laughs> you guys are a riot. Bruh, Dante just cut himself in half. Like, I know you're a badass and all that, but come on, man. Plus, how are you going to, like, cut yourself in half and be perfectly fine, but get killed by a couple marionette dolls or, or whatever the hell they're called? Like, how's that even work? Suddenly, Thor. This is giving me some uh, Geralt vibes from the Witcher series. All right, well, Geralt definitely never done that. Like, <laughs> just dropped his sword and kicked it in the air. 
Avasur gives the possessor lightning speed and aerial capabilities. So wait, do we already have it equipped? We do. Very cool. So all we had to do was die to get this cool sword. I like it. <laughs> you just looked up his Sparta and his wife's name is Eva. You're so sick of seeing that name. Why? What's what's wrong with that name, Rue? Eva? For Eva, Eva? <laughs> Can rip self off sword, also dies of paper mache dolls. <laughs> it's your name and you hate it? Why do you hate it? There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, I you know, it's your name, so I feel it. Like, <laughs> I don't think anybody is, like, in love with their name. A Grim Reaper-like devil is depicted. A key is embedded. Should I take it? Uh, yeah. Why not? Got that rusty-ass key, man. Let's go. Uh, we don't like desks around here. Destroy all the desks, please. Is there anything else in here? Looks like a giant spider or something needs to come out of here. Also, I guess we could have just went up the stairs instead of jumping up here. Now, this place is uh, surprisingly empty, but there's definitely going to be something coming from this other room at some point, right? Like, there must be another way to get there. Bro, there's a giant-ass hole. Like, you could definitely fit through there if you wanted to. You don't mind your name? You just went to too many people? Or went to school with too many people that have it? See, I've only ever met, like, three people that have my name, Christian. But, uh... Even then, I'm not a huge fan of it, but, of course, I'm also named after religion, so, like, yeah. <laughs> Strahd. <laughs> uh, I absolutely hate it. Why do you think I go by Rue or Ryan? You're E-N-B-Y-N-B. -E How do you, do you pronounce that, or do you say all the letters out? Honestly, don't know. It's feminine meaning and sound. That's fair, I guess, yeah. That's, uh, why, uh, Noodle's sister goes by a different name, because... Their name's a bit feminine sounding as well. Ow! Don't touch that. Sounds like NB, which is non-binary. That's what I thought, and that's how I pronounced it, but uh, I didn't know if it actually had... Like, if that's what you were doing, or if it had an acronym I just wasn't aware of. There's an immense power that would not allow one to get any closer. Before I can confront the lion, I'll need a sign. Uh, just like any sign. I'm sure there was a stop sign or something on the road on the way here. I can, uh, I can probably just go grab one of them, right? Can we, uh, where are people? People and things, hello? Oh, good, dolls. My favorite. Okay. I'm not sure if this sword is actually doing any more damage or not. Also, I see we got some of uh, the sigil things glowing now. So we should be able to do something with that. But I don't know how to... Oh, okay, that's how we activate it. There we go. That was pretty sick. We just turned into like a stone dude there for a moment. Very cool. Uh, I saw more people spawn down here. We are not going to walk away without murdering everybody. No action RPG can you possibly... I mean, I guess you can walk away without killing everybody, but why would you? You gotta, you gotta murder everything in your path. Everything you ever see has to die. Unless you're speedrunning. Unless they also spawn infinitely, because at this point, that's what it's feeling like. Holy shit. They just keep coming. Chelsea hates because everyone spells it wrong. I guess, yeah, yeah. She wants to get a change, but she's waiting for your mother to no longer be here. She doesn't have to deal with all that. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can feel that. Your mother's not the most, uh... I mean, she's been doing better lately, but... She's always been a little, a little iffy on the whole LGBTQ sort of dealio. Is it expensive to get your name changed? I d honestly didn't know that. I've never looked into it. I'm not in love with my name, but uh, I had no serious reason to change it either. Besides, I can always just lie to people about what my name is. 
I mean, hell, most of the people in my area didn't call me by my name until I was an adult. Pretty much everyone just calls me Jesus. She's been watching RuPaul in her free time? What? <laughs> Statue of an angel, the guardian of a god. Like I said, she has been doing better about the whole thing recently. After she told us it was disgusting. <laughs> what the hell, man? I mean, I am glad that she's doing better. That she's making progress on uh, being more accepting of it all. But it's also like... Why? I don't know. I just don't understand, I guess, why, where all the, the hate came from to begin with, you know? And then just, like, never gave it a real shot, any of it. it... We need some help. The sword doesn't seem to be doing more damage. Is it the sword that's giving us the, the power to transform like this, though? It might be. So even though the sword itself doesn't do any more, uh damage it appears maybe it gives us some some godly abilities she had a problem with rupaul before i don't trust her you're just gonna say she's jealous because they do amazing makeup maybe that's it maybe that's it they don't look orange whenever they do their makeup wait what did this say i didn't read it at all there's something written a god stands before thee to open the path use thy strength to drive it back uh, okay, so just beat the hell out of the the altar or whatever the hell you call those things, and done. Dusted. <laughs> oh, you know what else I just realized? In that first area, there was that whole room we never got to go through. I wonder if we'll be going back there, um, like, through the story, or if that's something, one of those things that you can, like, you know, revisit an area after you get further in the game to, to unlock new shit. Something engraved. Redeemed hydrate? Dope. Thank you, man. I didn't even think about it. I need to start doing that when I save. I should have done that when I saved last, but... Oh. Very good. Got some delicious mandarin orange. Uh, clear American today. It's cheap. It's sugar-free. And it tastes amazing. <laughs> like... I prefer the strawberry, to be honest, but this flavor's not bad. Mr. Noodle doesn't like anything that's not entirely just sugar. Like, <laughs> this is where the guiding souls gather. Okay, so, like, once we kill so many things or something, maybe we can, uh, do something there? We probably should be taking a break soon, too. We're coming up on an hour. I haven't been, uh, paying attention very much. Staff of Judgment, a staff that shines with mysterious light. Mm. Sorry, stream, you gotta head out. You're falling asleep at your desk. See you guys later. No problem, Ruth. Thank you for being here, man. I hope you have a good night. Wait, is that this is that room that we just came through, is it not? Okay, so there must be something we can do with the with the staff of judgment. I don't know what. Oh, maybe where the the guiding souls gather or the whatever the hell they said. Oh, is that a shotgun? Holy shit, how did I miss that the first time we came around? A wide range gun, very destructive at close range. Yeah, please. Mr. No, you change your name color from orange to green. It looks pink on your screen. It's uh, it's orange on mine. I don't know. <laughs> pink on your screen, orange on mine, green on Kane. So, who knows, man? <laughs> yeah, let's try out the shotgun. I mean, the ebony and ivory is like his iconic gun or whatever, but let's uh, let's try out the shotgun though. It's a rainbow. <laughs> Dope, it's more powerful than the freaking pistols. Same. At least at close range, it should be, right? All right, let's go back to... Uh... Oh, no. Never mind. We can't go through here yet. Oh. Okay. 
boss fight question mark we're fighting the reaper thing that we stole the uh the key from or things i guess more than one do shotguns work against uh weird witch reaper things come hither witch <laughs> Oh, they got giant shears. I thought they would have, like, uh, you know, scythe or something uh, based off of what we saw on the uh, the sign there. But no. They got giant scissors. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's unique, man. That's not at all what I would have expected. I like that. The shotgun seems to be making pretty short work of them, though. Although they're also flying through walls and whatnot, so it's a little hard to keep track of... Uh, which one's which? Ow! Okay, so we gotta be careful whenever they, they drop there. <laughs> They're giant pairs of scissors. They hurt a bit. I hear them laughing again off in the distance. It's not creepy at all. At least the shotgun knocks them back instead of just sit there and looking at you. True, very, very true. Uh, crush all the spiders for red orbs. Can we just shoot them? We can't. <laughs> it's a carving of the Judge of Death. Yeah, we already dealt with that. Looks like the Judge should be holding something. Shall I use the Staff of Judgment? I mean, that would make sense. <laughs> See, told you, you can shoot anything. I mean, true. Oh, we didn't even get to go through the... The room, did we? The one with the... Uh that the key was for. Well, shit. Okay, I didn't realize that was going to be the end of the level. Well, since it is the end of the level, and we have been streaming for about an hour, I guess it's a pretty decent uh, time to take just a short break. It'll just be for like a minute, maybe two. So we're going to head on over to the please wait screen while I stretch, probably take another drink real quick, and we'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Anyways, so some games like racing games, again, not necessarily this one, we, uh... You actually have to press the button down harder. And however hard you press the button down actually changes the speed that you'll, like, accelerate or whatever. Oh, we have a rear view mirror. Oh, we have oil that we can drop out of the back? Okay. Uh, so circle is missiles. Uh, are we supposed to be shooting these? Oh, that's boost. <laughs> Oh, no. Yep. Yep. We're... <laughs> we, we are doing bad. So bad. What is the fire button? I've forgotten. Uh, reverse, please. <laughs> okay. Is there a restart? I think we're just going to restart. Yeah. Good. Noodle, you're going to love me for this. And oof, I know the feel. I was exposed twice because of the college campus. That's... Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> That's one of the worst parts about working retail through all of this. Like, I'm thankful I still have a steady income throughout all of it. Don't get me wrong. But um, just the, the constant exposure. I've been exposed so many times. Only gotten it once, thankfully. But, yeah. So, avoid the barrels. Shoot the targets. Activate all satcoms. Ah, uh, you guys are the worst. <laughs> it throws me off my game so much. I'm already having trouble between the sickness and trying to figure out what the hell to do. Here we go. Here's your, your five minutes of, uh, what the hell is it called? I've forgotten the name. The ABCs. <laughs> I've already forgotten how to sing down with the sickness. That's what happens when you put me on the spot. <laughs> All right. We are back. Just in time, too, because, uh, yeah, we didn't need to... We didn't need to hear me singing the ABCs for ten minutes. Although it's one of Rue's favorite things to do to me. <laughs> I do not enjoy it, however. Took forever... Uh, I think you took forever, Mr. Noodle, actually. Hey, we got a C this time. We're, it's slightly better, right? Better than a D, at least. 
not particularly good, but, you know, we're making progress, though. That's what's important. I should have went ahead and saved while we were on the break, too. I didn't think about that. Uh, we'll just save over the same file. It's fine. It's not like a JRPG or something. I'm not that worried about writing over my saves. All right, next mission. Let's see what we got uh, in store for us now, man. More dolls, maybe? More more witches with, with scissors? <laughs> Destroyer of Ardor. Overcome the trout and acquire the pride of lion. Mm. We did get more stuff. We have uh We have 667. So close. Blood orb thingies. So we can get extra, but we can also just buy stuff for Alistair, the sword. Lightning speed, plunge the sword into enemies. Round trip, throw the sword like a boomerang. That's neat. Air hike, double jump in the air. That's very nice. Air Raid. Become airborne and be capable of performing aerial electrocution attacks. Vortex level 1. Damage enemies with an intense spinning body attack. I'm tempted to just save the up for the air jump one, man. Although just, uh, you know, having a new attack would be nice. At the same time, being able to double jump, I feel like, would be a huge boost to trying to get around the levels and whatnot. Mission start. Let's go. Okay, we're locked in on two sides. That's good. I like it. Oh, Mr. Noodle, did you add a uh, profile picture? I just saw that, love. What is that? Uh, it looks familiar. It's a, what, a Yoshi? Is that a fat Yoshi and, and a couple cats? <laughs> <laughs> you did? Did you not? Huh. I don't know. Maybe there's a, a glitch on Twitch or something. But it showed me that you have a little profile picture. Maybe you uh, should change the password to your account if you didn't. Because, uh... <laughs> Mario Cats? Okay, so you did change it then? I'm hoping you did, because like I said, otherwise you may want to change your uh, <laughs> your passwords everywhere. What is this? This looks like a thing. The Pride of Lion is granted only to those who choose the Path of Trials. Does that mean we're choosing the Path of Trials? It's one way to open a door. Shoot it with a giant laser beam. Okay, it's just going to say the same thing as go again. It was weeks ago? Oh, I just noticed it. Yeah. <laughs> I just turned over and uh I saw that your your name was different than the uh than the blank ones over there, and I was like, oh that's neat. Looking fancy love. So the path of trials, I'm guessing that just means fight a bunch of stuff and try to uh try to murder them. Pretty cool looking castle. I don't know why it pulled us away from it so quickly. Those little cats keep popping up on your Facebook feed, and they're so cute. So I can only really see the Yoshi one, because the, the, I mean, the profile pic is tiny on my end over here. But it does look V-cute. V-V-cute. You shared a shark one the other day? Symbol resembles the staff of Hermes that's used in the art of alchemy. I can feel some kind of mysterious force, but I just can't quite understand yet. Very well. I assume we'll figure that out later. Go back the path and thou shalt return from the abyss with thy lion heart and thou shalt receive the pride of lion. Okay. So don't go this way or do the thing that we were doing? Ow! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Okay, then, man. We're just uh, being plunged into the ocean here. Uh, I don't like this filter. It's very hard to see. Also, are we slowly drowning? I can't tell if we're losing health or if the, the red's just showing up there because of our thing moving around. No, we're not drowning. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, hi. Hi, guys. 
<laughs> I didn't know uh, random heads were gonna spawn and try to murder me. One shotgun blast to the skull usually does the trick. <laughs> Very nice. Okay, so this will take us back up. And then we get the thing? Or is there going to be more trials? Oh, no. That just took us back to the other side. So it's going to be like a whole round trip thing, ain't it? Oh, wait. Did we get it already? No way did we get it that easy. Also, these trees are like pulsating like they're alive. They also look like brick. Even though they're shaped like trees? I don't know, man. It's a weird castle. A sign of the strong. It allows confrontation with the lion gatekeeper. I remember the lion gatekeeper. Or I'm assuming it was the a lion eh, la, la. gatekeeper. The lion thing. Hey, Spider-Man! <laughs> brick trees? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Brick trees, man. Lava spider and brick trees. And Spider-Man. That's actually pretty cool looking. I like it. Hashtag lava spider. I hope for your sake you got something inside that big body of yours. Why does the giant spider have subtitles? But when I speak, I don't, like. <laughs> also, can we not hurt it? Oh, and it has a stinger, like a, uh, like a, uh, scorpion. That's pretty cool. So it's kind of like the, uh, the, from Lord of the Rings. It's kind of like, uh, Ungoliath, or no. That wasn't its name. Whatever its name was, I don't remember. How do we hurt you? You're not hurt by that, either. Hmm. How do do? Okay, well, we can't do anything there. Do we shoot you in the ass? Does that hurt? Nope. Maybe we have to go big mode? Oh, there we go. Okay, that works. Going, going all demonic Alistair on him. Seems to be doing some damage. So we just have to survive for a bit until we can go demonic or whatever, and then... Oh, okay, yeah, are we dead? No, we're not. Very close, though. Holy shit. Attack him with brick trees. How do we attack him with brick trees? A rare stone that revitalizes energy. Yeah, I think that's what we want. Yes. Do we only have one of those? We did. Can't do anything with that. Or the, the pride thing. Okay. Uh, nope. Jump out of the way. I'm trying to attack the brick trees. So far, the only thing that seemed to work was going into the demonic state. But I don't know if we actually have to... Yeah, we do have to be in the demonic state. And it seems like the only way we can get more of the demonic state is uh, by hitting it repeatedly as well. Uh, he's gonna shoot us. Okay. Man, it does so much damage every time it hits us. I mean, it is a giant lava spider, so it makes sense. You know, it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't feel good to get hit by one of them. I feel like. Are we are we getting stuff? We are. Run the hell away, please. Oh, she's doing the thing. Okay. Yep. That that hurt. We're gonna die. Yeah, we're, we're so screwed, man. <laughs> get away, get away, get away, get away. Oh, it's close. We need some, like, uh, lesser enemies that we can... Oh, okay, yep, that was it. I got stuck in between the brick tree and the, the, the actual, like, bricks. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, we still got, we still got some yellow orbs. We'll just use another yellow orb, man. Uh, okay, back back to right before the thing appeared out of the sky. Can we skip cutscenes? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, wait. Yeah. 
Or no. We just haven't collected the thing yet. Pick it up. Yep, yep, yep. Grab it. Did it give us back our health potion, essentially? I don't think it did. And select is what skips uh, cut scenes. That's good to know. We also just got hit in the back. We did not give it back to us. But I'm assuming if we game over, we have to start over the entire mission. So... Okay, yep, this is this is going well. Okay, so we can do some damage to it, even when we're we're not in the the god mode, just not a whole lot of damage. Gonna go ahead and get uh, hit for two point or two times there before doing a single point of damage. Yep, that's the uh, that's the plan, man. Also, it seems like getting on top of it and hitting it in the back, that seemed to work really well. As long as we don't get stuck in one of those lava blasts, we might be okay. Uh, don't get hit by that either. The giant flame ball also doesn't feel very nice. Uh, stop running away, you little bitch! Ah, uh, we're getting close. Also, the health bar is slowly going up, so that's good. And then we get hit by a lava ball. I can't see. I can't see. It's in front of me. Or in front of the camera. Not in no, 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 no. You piece of crap. <laughs> I'm so mad right now. We almost had it. We almost had it. That was much better than the last time. At least we... I figured out how to fight it, at least, you know? Just fling it into space or whatever it was the doctor did with his. Yeah, I don't think that works in this game, though, love. I wish it did. That'd be cool. <laughs> Skip the cutscene, and let's go. I refuse to go into easy mode. We're not doing it. It's not happening. It can eat me. Literally, it can eat me. Hey, what's up, Nate? Happy to see you, man. Yeah, we were actually talking about that. I was like, I'm surprised Nate's not here. He loves DMC. But I just assumed that you had uh, gone to bed early or or something along them lines. There we go. Just keep jumping and hitting it in the back. Smack it in the tail a few times. Yes. Yes. Didn't get the notification. Oh, shit, man. Sorry about that. Glad you made it, though. Well, Kane, get ready to watch stream fight this forever. He's stubborn. I don't think it's going to take that long. I think we're going to kill it right here. I think it is donezo. Now that I know how to fight it. Just got to just gotta jump onto its back if possible. That's when we did the, the best damage. Uh, of course, whenever it does that stupid lava shit. No lava. Bad lava. Spiders should not be allowed to have lava. That doesn't seem fair to any other life form. Holy crap. Oh, it's so close. Are you going to shoot at us? Oh, no, it's doing lava again. It's doing it faster now, too, like... Ah, uh, don't hit us, please. Nope, we're dead. Oh, oh, I got scared. We did it. We got it. <laughs> I didn't post it in Discord this time either. I know, I didn't this time, man. Or Noodle, or whatever. Whoever posted it. I should have, but... I was like, eh. I know, I, right now, I'm not doing anything with the Discord but notifications. So it's like, I just feel bad kind of spamming people that I'm streaming all the time on there, so... Been cleaning and reorganizing your office. Very nice, man. And after dying, he just becomes lava? Yeah. I mean, isn't that what happens to us all when we die? We just, you know, become lava, apparently. Can we cross here again? I hope. Okay. It's gonna say, I hope we can't just fall off, but <laughs> apparently we can. 
We can just... Oh, secret mission. Oh. Uh... Okay. Kill it with one single shot. Aim for critical. Uh, who? Where are you? Are you gonna come down here? Okay, well we didn't, we didn't kill it with the one single shot, so. I feel like we're probably not going to uh, get a very good score here, but we killed it though. Does it, does it? Is the glass breaking? Also, we are taking damage under here, aren't we? Why are you taking damage? I feel like it's every time we're under that, or in that section, like in the watery section. Secret mission failed. Okay, so we had to kill it in one hit to, to pass it. That's cool, though. I didn't even know secret missions were a thing. Like, I don't remember those at all from the last time that I played. Ah, taking a quick drink. Speaking of cleaning your office up there, Nate, I need to do that myself one of these days, man. I don't have, like, a proper office, per se, but I need to clean up my, uh, my game area here. Can we do anything with the the thing over here? The, the symbol resembles the staff of Hermes. Yeah, yeah, we got that. Uh, still don't know what to do with it, though. Okay, fine. Can we not... Wait, can we not do anything here, either? Do we have to use the pride of lion nope do we have to attack it huh i'm confused to say the least because we we killed the thing we got the pride of lion we went back to the other side. Maybe we go through this other door now instead. That what we're supposed to do? Oh, yeah, okay. That's <laughs> That was the end of the mission, I guess. I thought we had to go back there after collecting the Pride of the Lion or, or whatever that was called. I guess not. We got another D. Yeah, I never said I was good at this game. <laughs> get it a, a save real quick in here so we we came dangerously close to game overing on that that boss fight so getting lights fixed and getting more of your collectible set up and stuff you got lucky with the sunroof but funnily it's probably about the same amount of space as your game area nice man yeah i mean mine i could have a whole room i had a whole room set up at one time a small room granted but a whole room nonetheless but uh that didn't work out with Mr. Noodle so well, so <laughs> I ended up just going into the bedroom, actually. So I have, like, one side of the bedroom. Now, our bedroom is pretty large, I feel, for a bedroom, though. So, like, I, I have space. It's a little narrow, but I have, you know, two fairly large desks set up. One with all of my consoles and stuff, and then the other with all my monitors and PC shit, so... He always blames me. I mean... <laughs> I, you know, love, <laughs> I think you kind of have to agree with me here on this. That the reason I set up in here was because uh, somebody had a problem with me always being in another room. <laughs> Even though now somebody, not to say any names, spends all their time in the living room now, so. <laughs> Display one strength to the line and open the path. Acquire the melancholy soul. So, die? Because that's what's probably going to happen. We're, we're probably just going to die. Also, we're back here now. Can we go... I, I know the line was through there, but we collected that rusty key and then never did anything with it. So, can we go back through here now? Oh! Hi! You're back! I didn't expect you to be back. Can we just ignore you? Maybe not deal with you? Wait, is this where the line was? It is. Where was the rusty key at? we go back out here, are we going to get destroyed by the spider now? No, okay, the spider looks like it's gone. That's good. I don't know if we can... <laughs> I don't know if we can fight Lava Spider again. Are you... 
Are you the one that needed the key? No. Where the hell? Where the hell was the key at? Oh, shit. We're all the way back to, like, that other area now. Yeah, no. This isn't what we want, though. Oh, hey, more dolls. No, we're just gonna, we're gonna go back. I don't know, whatever. We'll just go to the, uh, to the lines. Deal with them. Because I'm, I'm lost. I don't remember. Oh, for some reason that respawned all the dolls in here that were gone before, though. It's about four foot six inches and about 13 foot long. Yeah, honestly, that's, that is pretty close to my, uh, to my area as well. I don't know exactly how big it is. Like, I haven't measured it, but that's pretty close. That's just the power up, dude. I never came to bed at bedtime. I I mean, I can't argue with you there. You are right about that, Noodle. I did have a tendency of uh, staying up pretty late. <laughs> Playing video games. Or working. Speaking of working on things, I mentioned... Well, I guess it was yesterday, right? On the last stream. Last night. I, uh, I've been working on a little bit of a side project. Or thinking. I haven't actually put any... Hadn't actually put any work into it until today i don't have like any real code or anything written yet it's mostly been uh doing some design work and uh <laughs> i know something else that's 13 never mind never mind i uh <laughs> hmm. 13 13 centimeters or like <laughs> uh what was i saying Oh yeah, no, no, I haven't put any actual work in yet, like, I haven't gotten any, any real code written besides some test stuff, but, uh, 13 yards. <laughs> Could you imagine 13 yards? That'd be insane. But I did a lot of research on, uh, netcode, so just a, a little, a little tiny sneak peek to what my side project is there, the, the thing that I'm working on. Um, it requires netcode, so it's gonna be, uh online some in some way video game of course because you know that's what i do there's an immense power that will not allow one to get any closer before i can confront the lion i'll need a sign shall i use the pride of lion i mean yeah now i'm super curious you'll find out more eventually i promise you everybody will but yeah i mean it's gonna it's gonna take a long time because i'm just doing it in my free time obviously and i don't have a lot of that at the moment Plus, the project that I'm working on, my main project, my main video game that I'm making is is the main one. So once things get moving with that again with my uh, co-creator there, I'll be focusing more on that. But, yes, I am, I am working on something multiplayer related in my free time. And uh, I, I've been learning more about new netcode standards because I haven't messed around with anything like that in a long time. Here sleeps the gatekeeper. Magical destruction will awaken him. Uh, so, like that. <laughs> Just beat him with our with our sword a little bit. Do we? Oh, oh, hi there. That's not what I expect. Ah, bro, I didn't even get to do anything yet. <laughs> I haven't even moved. I'm gonna get wrecked. I am so screwed. Seem to have a lot of issues with this co-person you mention all the time. Also, did it just suck the health out of me whenever I attacked it? What the hell was that? Okay, so that's like it's heart or something there, right? Also. Oh, man. Uh, Yep, we're dead. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Wow. That thing destroyed us. Um, no, we're not gonna... Oh, I guess we are using a yellow orb. I was gonna say, no, we're not gonna use the yellow orb. We're just going to, uh... We're just gonna restart, but... I guess we didn't really have an issue there. It kind of forced us to. Seemed to have a lot of issues with this code person you mentioned all the time. I mean, don't get me wrong. I like the guy a lot, but, uh... You know. Now, to be fair, too, he, his workstation, his desktop was broken there for quite a while and obviously he's got a baby coming and all that stuff so he's got a lot of stuff going on i'm not mad at him not at all but uh yeah he, he can be a little uh a little uh inconsistent at times and he realizes that he's talked to me before about that he says like that he wants me holy shit dude did it again okay so wait every time i hit it it seems to be taking health from me. It's 
Scattered? Yeah, scattered's a pretty decent way to put it. Shit, yeah, we're dead again. You hopefully have your laptop back at the end of the month and internet? That's awesome, man. Hell yeah. Scattered's a very good way to put it. Uh, do you want to go to the load screen? I mean, we don't really have a choice, do we? <laughs> it's either go to the load screen or just quit the game. We don't have any other options, so we shall load. We could buy another one of those health potions, maybe? Like, that's an option. That's something we could do. It's not a bad, bad option. What's, uh... How much do those cost? I don't remember. Devil Star. What is that? Crystal with magical powers over you cover five devil trigger gauges. We don't even have that many yet. So 480. That kind of sucks. That's a lot. Water of divine blessings. It holds the power to eliminate all the evil that's around you. That's pretty cool. So it just like kills everything around us. But I'm assuming it wouldn't work on bosses though. A shield will surround the body, protecting you from any attack for a certain period. You will also be in Devil Trigger state during this period. That's also really cool. Uh, so we can just straight up buy more health. Does that, like, does the cost of that increase as time goes on? Or do they all just cost 300? Because that's pretty cheap, honestly. Purple increases Devil Trigger. That brings us back to life. Okay, yeah, it gets more expensive every time. That makes sense. And then we will buy one Vital Star. I was really hoping to save that up so we could get the air hike thing. So we could double jump, but... I think we need to, uh... I think we need to just buy stuff that'll make us not die as easily. Increase, if you remember correctly. Yeah, you're right. It, it does. It increases. I mean, it would be... I feel like it'd be a bit broken if it didn't, you know? Oh, I didn't mean to go through this door. Oh, secret mission. Phantom baby. Defeat 100 phantom babies within the time limit? I <laughs> don't think that's going to happen. Where are they at? Oh, these are the phantom babies. Okay. So, <laughs> just keep shooting and walking over as many of them as possible, I guess. <laughs> oh, my lord. Are we going to make it? I hope that's not literally, like, all of them, you know? Oh, no, there's a bunch of them up here. I want these ones. Ah, oh, no, we're not going to make it. Can we try again? I actually kind of want to try again. <laughs> so I feel like we can do this one. That was pretty damn close. Secret mission failed. How much longer you got? Do you have time for your shower and to clean up your craft stuff? Uh, I mean, I usually stream till 1.30, so you got just under a half hour, like 20 minutes. So, I mean, you tell me, love. I don't know how long that's going to take you. Secret mission, Phantom Baby. Yes, go. Go. Just start shooting as soon as we load in. I feel like there's just not enough time. So many spiders, not enough time. Man, we're not even going to do as well as we did last time here. Holy shit, yeah, no, we're really not either. There must have been a lot in this first little area here. And we just kind of skipped over it this time, which, you know, it's probably a mistake. Oh, well. I'm not going to, I'm not going to keep doing it over and over again. Uh, which door was it? It was this one, right? I think it was this one. You love the guns in this game? They're cool from, like, an aesthetic standpoint and whatnot. But, uh, no, that was the wrong one. Holy shit. So, what, is it the red one that we need to go through? Um, but I wish they had a little bit more of a kick. A little bit more power to them, you know? They feel, they feel just a little bit weak. Oh, it's because we're coming through a different door. So, we're not, like, spawning right on top of them. That's why we didn't get as good of a score this time, or last time. That seems jank. Need, do they keep respawning or is there a limited number of them? I feel like there is a limited number of them. Yeah, like they're all gone now. There's no way. Oh my lord, and the camera's not cooperating. <laughs> okay, so let's go through the side door. Let's go through the side door. 
this one over here. The blue one. So we don't just keep redoing the same secret mission and failing it over and over and over again. Because holy crap, that is not helping anybody. They should be better, you know, in 3, they get really good as you progress. Yeah, it's been so long since I played, I honestly don't remember, like, anything then. I remember, I mean, the basics, obviously. The cool over-the-top combat, relatively simple puzzles for the most part. Um, guns, swords, half-demons. <laughs> like... I remember, I remember the big picture stuff, but I don't remember all the uh, specifics or anything. All right, let's uh, let's get to to where we're actually supposed to be. Can we kill Ungoliant or whatever the hell this thing wants to be called here? Oh. Okay, well we missed our door, so that was good. We're gonna die. Holy shit! Yep, we're dead. <laughs> Bruh! Oh my lord! I'm so mad right now. I mean, I we don't really have an option. We have to try again. <laughs> Ugh. I don't remember before if I had played this game on normal mode or if I had played it on easy. Like, did I cop out? I don't remember, though. The game's definitely harder than I remember, but that right there was totally my fault. I should have just went through the door, but I freaking missed it. You don't get as high as a bonus in this game either for using the guns, I've noticed. It's like with the swords, you build up your uh, multiplier or whatever the hell you want to call it, so you get more more score at the end of the level. But when you're using the guns, you hardly build that up at all. I'm pretty sure you still can, but it doesn't seem like you build it up very much, you know? Remember, 3 and 4 are a little better because you played more recently. It's been ages since you played 1 or 2. Unlock another difficulty after beating it on the first hardest one. Yeah, and uh, after the first level, I unlocked an easy mode too. But obviously, I didn't want to. I didn't want to stoop to that level. <laughs> I need a sign. Shall I use the Pride of Lion? Yes. It's weird how they have this game separated into levels, honestly, because the way the game is set out, it doesn't need to be separated into levels like at all. You know, because they got the like individual uh or it's like the one castle with all the rooms linked and it seems like i can go clear back to the first area if i really wanted to so i don't really see the point in having all the the individual levels but other than that working as a checkpoint system i think the hardest is true devil hunter that's cool cool name I would love to uh, to beat the game at that difficulty at some point, but uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. If we uh, if we end up, I mean, this is definitely going on to the games I want to finish list, obviously. Um, but if we do end up finishing it, I get hit there every freaking time. How do I hurt this thing? Like, it seems like I can't even freaking damage it. But it can certainly damage the hell out of me. I'm dead. I'm I'm dead. <laughs> GG, it's over. I'm dead. I, d I don't know what I'm doing. I must be missing something with it. Okay, now I can damage it. So I guess I just need to try to just dodge it and shoot it over and over again. Until the orb comes out. Like, that's the only thing I really seem to be able to do. It, maybe it'd make sense to switch to... Can I switch guns mid-battle? Because it seems like uh, Ebony and, and, and Ivory may actually be better here because of the longer range. It's one of the more difficult games you played, this and Ninja Gaiden. I've played Ninja Gaiden on the NES, but I've never beaten it. Like, not even close, man. Ninja Gaiden is, is very hard. Like so many Nintendo games, though, that, that was the, their whole thing, right? Like, it was just made stupidly hard because they... Uh, they wanted the games to feel longer than they actually were on those little tiny cartridges. Oh. Now he's red. Red and fast. Oh. GG. We killed the kitty. 
We did it! <laughs> Alright, so once I knew how to fight it, that wasn't all that bad. Honestly, if I ever wanted to do, like, a completionist run of this game, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to do it on easy mode the first time. Just to kind of learn what the hell you're doing with all the bosses and, and everything, right? Because, like, like I said, with that guy there, for instance, he was pretty easy once I knew how to fight him. And I imagine the other bosses in the game are, are similar. I mean, the, the spider dude was similar to that, right? Like, uh, I had a hell of a time beating it until I figured out that if I jump on its back, I can not only damage it outside of the, the, the devil mode or whatever the hell it's called, but also I can uh, attack its tail for, for big damage. Definitely suggests exactly that. Yeah, it doesn't seem like a bad idea at all. Though, I, uh, I have a... a problem with playing on easy mode i just i don't like doing it man i like playing everything on the hardest difficulty i'm a sucker for punishment <laughs> although if i was streaming it I, I i'm not against it going down in difficulty because i hate uh being stuck on the same thing for absolutely ever I feel like it's not a uh it's not a great viewing experience for the most part although with that said that moment whenever you finally beat something on a hard difficulty um, not only feels amazing, but even whenever you're watching someone else do it, it still feels really good, you know? Whenever it's like as a group, you finally beat it. What mode are you currently on currently? Just the, the normal mode. It's the only mode that was available to me outside of, uh, outside of easy, as far as I know. At least it didn't offer me anything else, I don't think. Uh, no, I want to do select option i don't think we can change it like mid thing here can we no no we can't okay couldn't remember if hard was open off the rip or not i mean it might have been i i'm i vaguely remember it giving us a difficulty slider but i don't think any i don't know i don't think there was any options other than normal though but i could be i could be completely wrong it's a statue of a female with a melancholic expression there's an opening to place something. Uh, so that's the melancholy soul thing. Can we break the break the mirror? We cannot. I bet you that's a copy of this room on the other side of there. An emblem of a sun is engraved. There's something written beneath it. The brightness of the guiding light will scorch you. Only those who can bear the light can open the new path. There are documents here that were probably used for diplomacy with the neighboring countries. That's cool. <laughs> uh, so, guiding light, blah, blah, blah. Um, I don't know, honestly. Oh, apparently there was something hidden up there. That's cool. You wouldn't be surprised if it is unlockable because that's how they do it with the others. Uh, da, da, da. Can we go through here? It's sealed shut by immense power. Okay, what am I missing? I can't move this or do anything with it yet. So I guess we just go back the way we came then, because... Yeah, I don't see anything to do here. Oh, hi marionette dude. I think we can go up the stairs more though, so we'll probably just come back to this in a moment. Wouldn't be surprised if it is... That's how they do the others. Yeah, I vaguely remember unlocking a harder difficulty whenever I beat this game forever ago, but... I mean, it was forever ago. There's something written. The sword is the key to freeing the soul. The key resides at the highest place. The key resides at the highest place. Um, the sword is the key... I feel like we need to put the, the sword in there, but it doesn't seem to, to work. <laughs> the key resides at the highest place. Aren't we at the highest place? Oh, up there. How do we get up there? Uh, maybe we just jump across. Maybe when we're all the way up here, we can... Because uh, it would be, yeah, probably right here where there's a... Gap. Okay. Uh. 
Hi, where are we? <laughs> what is this door? It's sealed shut by immense power. There's something written. It's technically oldest Dante, other than DMC5. You think that's the only one with him older? They started with the ending in a way. Yeah, I know the order of these games are all fucked up. I remember reading about that and seeing that before. It's a little weird how they have them laid out, but you know. This path will open with a guiding soul. Okay, so similar to the message we got before. And this is one of those things we just got to hit it a bunch of time. And it'll uh, unlock. Will this take us up or down? It's going to take us up. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> we don't have to walk up all those stairs. Oh, it's actually just going to take us right to the thing. Well, hey, that works. Thank you for that game. <laughs> It was done intentionally? Really? I figured they just didn't know, like, the full story that they were doing, so... But, yeah, I mean, what do I know, really? Death Sentence, a decorative sword used for rituals. It cannot be used as a weapon. That's too bad. Uh, don't fall again. Oh, that's gonna fall, though. Can we put the sword in here now? The sword is the key to freeing the soul. Yep. The key resides at the highest place. Yep, got it, got it. But we can't, we can't put it in here. So, does the sword key go here in this room? Like, maybe the, the, the lady holds it? I don't think so, though. Oh, wait, it does have, like, a hole in her chest, though. So, maybe it does. Opening to play something. Shall I use the death sentence? Yes. I sentence you to death, the lady. Melancholy soul, an ornament resembling a soul. When activated, it loses its power over time. Uh, is it powering us up? Or is the sword Alistair just going off because uh, something's about to happen? Oh shit, the mirror. Told you that was another room on the other side. Classic fight ourself moment. Yep, yep. Four was kind of an afterthought, so it was a different place in timelines. The same with five. It's been a while since you read it. You went on a deep dicky dive of the series a while back. Very cool. I love whenever they came out with the newest one and they were like the true uh, sequel. I wish the subtitles actually worked in this game. That'd be nice. Oh, we're not fighting ourselves? Okay. Well, fine then. I didn't want to fight you anyways. <laughs> and the mirror's back to being a mirror. We can't leave. I imagine the sun thing would just tell us the same thing that it did before. So I guess we just go through the door. I don't see anything else to do. Is that the end of the level? Oh, man. I'm cracking in some weird places. <laughs> like my chest was cracking a little bit. My neck and back was cracking all over the place. Now we fight. Get down here, you bastard. Fight me like a man. With your giant cool sword. Can I take your sword after I kill you? Nope. Uh, how about you eat my sword? I don't like you blocking, man. It's not cool. Stop blocking! Ow. Stop shooting me. Or shooting me. <laughs> not really shooting me. Am I doing any damage with this at all? I mean, I'm building up my, my devil gauge power thing at least. Uh, what was that? This dude's got spirit moves, man. Some like, uh... Why does Yu Yu Hakusho come to mind? And also, that hurt. Uh, we're gonna die. <laughs> I am damaging him a bit. It's, I like, I see his health bar moving, but like, just barely. Ah, oh, bruh, I did not remember that our, uh, bullets got any different. Whenever we go into that mode. That's sick. Oh, man. 
I can't see. It'd be nice if I could see where the shots are coming from. Like, that would actually be incredibly helpful. Do I have to, like, go up there? It doesn't seem like it. Oh, yep, okay. I did have to go up there, but uh, as soon as I did, guess what? I died! <laughs> uh, they did great with the advertising for five. You were happy it came out because there was a lot of questions for you after four. Yeah. Did you play the reboot? I'm pretty sure... Oh, shit. We didn't buy any yellow thingies, did we? Fuck me. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we talked about it before, but did you ever play the the reboot games or have you only ever played the originals and then uh uh four and five whenever they came out like the true five we'll try this one more time if we screw it up again then we'll uh we'll call it gg for the night because we're running out of time here i probably should get one of the yellow orbs but i really want to save up my points we're gonna buy we're gonna buy one and I, I do have a vital star, so I I should have used that, but But I haven't. You decide to eat your mango, then you'll get a shower? Okay. I mean if you wanna wait a little bit longer now since I'm almost done, then I'll probably get a shower too, Noodle. Alright, so we're going through here, right? Oh no. Oh no, we have to fight the the lion and everything again? Oh shit, okay. I didn't realize this mission had been that long. Well, shit, man. Okay. I mean, we know where we're going now, so it won't take super long to get through, but I did not realize that, like, that there was that much that we had to do. All right. Get through this. Play part of the reboot. It was good. You were disappointed at first, but then after you learned about it being separate timeline and all, you were more cool with it. Yeah, I mean, I kind of hate when they do that, though, right? Like, have, have games or, or movies or whatever that are just completely separate timelines. It feels like such a cop-out, you know? Now, obviously, a lot of people weren't very happy with it. Otherwise, uh, I always get hit there. I don't know if I can dodge from that or not, but uh, let's change back to Ebony and Ivory. Oh, wait, I don't have my green thing. Oh, I bought all that shit after we saved. Oh, uh, we're screwed, guys. Yeah. <laughs> we are we are completely screwed. I have two yellow orbs now, though. Because we ended up using one on this guy last time. Uh, okay. But we know how to fight him, so we might be okay. I say as we're dying, essentially. Do some damage! And then run the hell away because he hurts. I need to shoot him a little bit. Otherwise, we're never gonna go anywhere. There we go. Whoa! You just said cop out when there was a Roku ad for something called cop out scrolling across the screen. Can I say I'm secretly a psychic, man? <laughs> hey, marionette man. How you doing? It's been like five minutes since I've seen you. All right, so actually just need to jump down to the bottom here. We can get back to where we were real quick since we know what the hell we're doing. I probably should explore this bottom area. There might be something here for us, like uh, like some extra unlocks or something, but... Oh, well. Who wants to do things the right way? Uh, we don't even need to go over there anymore because we know all of that already. Yeah, this game definitely seems like it was geared towards playing through multiple times, man. Honestly, I may end up doing like if we do do a full playthrough of the game i may end up doing easy mode but i don't know i i still feel a little bad about doing it but um we would definitely get through it quicker that way 
and by learning the game you could just like fly through it once you know what you're doing and all the boss weaknesses and all that BS. I wonder how long the speed run is of this. It can't be that long. It's got to be like super quick, man. Skip the cutscene. Stop shooting at me. I'm the one that shoots things. Ow. Regain health with our devil powers. Not a whole lot of health, mind you, but some. And then we lost more than that by not dodging on time. So, I mean, really, at the end of the day, I guess it wasn't wasn't totally worth it, but, you know. Uh, what? No, how did he catch us with that backswing there? When activated, it loses its power over time, so it's not something we can activate, it doesn't seem like. The opening cutscene for DMC3 is a cinematic masterpiece. I don't know if I've ever seen it. No, shooty, McShoot. Okay. Oh, my lord. This dude is a giant pain in the ass. No. No hit. It's just Dante being a badass and eating pizza. Why does... Why, why did I just imagine Dante as a Ninja Turtle? <laughs> I'm trying to, to spend this time to regain some health is what I'm going to try to do because if I go up there I feel like I'm just going to to get one hit again and freaking die but I can't tell if we're actually gaining any devil power back here it doesn't look like it sadly so I think I'm gonna have to just go up there or just die. That works too. <laughs> I guess we'll just die. We got two yellow orbs though, so we don't have to do the whole thing over again. We're gonna we're gonna try until we run out of yellow orbs, and then we're gonna have to call it a night. And that okay, right outside the the boss arena. Full cool. Alright, don't get hit. That's the the secret to this boss, guys. If anybody was wondering, it's just don't get hit. So we can like parry, but he can block. Oh, uh, nope. Oh my lord. So if we if we hit him when he's about to hit us, we can we can block his attack. We need like a, a way to get close to him faster. Okay, that didn't work. Can we uh, regain some health by shooting you for a moment, maybe? Not very much, though. We can also, whenever he charges up to do one of those, we can also hit him. Man, no! No, 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 no! I hit him! Uh, I'm so annoyed. I was definitely hitting him there. <laughs> Okay, nope, I didn't get in there fast enough. Alright, he teleported up. Huh. You now watch May. You now may watch DMC War Vids after this. Alright, so we'll try to regain a little bit of health real quick. But we're just going to have to suck it up and go up there and hopefully not die. Yep, we are. we're out of devil power. Here we go. Let me up. Uh, I hit the wrong button. 
I was trying to press triangle and I hit the freaking circle because I'm a dumbass. Also, I just fell. Is he going to come back down here or are we just going to do the entire fight up top now? Seems like we're doing the entire fight up top now. What's this? Does this help me in any way? No. It's like a safe zone for me or something? I don't... Uh, I didn't mean to jump down. I wanted to jump back across. You know, Dante feels incredibly slow, which is kind of surprising. I'm dead. Shit, man. <laughs> not easy. Not easy at all. Okay, we're going to do it one more time. We got one more thing, so we're going to do it one more time. And speaking of eating pizza, <laughs> I'm starting to want some pizza myself. Thankfully, I do have a little bit in the fridge. I might have to, uh, after I get that shower, I think I'm going to have to eat some pizza. Oh, skip the cutscene. We don't need to watch the cutscene. Okay, he's stunned for a moment. So whenever we, we parry him, sometimes he uh he gets stunned and we can we can get a few hits in on him. But not always. The one thing I do wish I like fixed camera angle games usually, but I do wish this game uh, stayed locked on to the enemy a little bit better whenever you were whenever you were fighting them because it can be pretty hard to see what the hell you're doing in relation to the to the enemy every now and then you know why can't I why can't I hit him that was weird my sword wasn't swinging there for a moment oh we're dead that's it GG well guys <laughs> I would love to keep going, but that is all the time I have for uh, for the night, sadly. This is definitely going on the list of games that I want to complete on stream, though, and just in general, you know. So hopefully, at some point, we'll be back playing more Devil May Cry, and of course, we'll be checking out the other games eventually. So I hope you all stick around to see that. What is today? Today is Friday, so I take Saturdays off. I'll be back Sunday, though. I'll be back Sunday afternoon, starting around 5, 5.30, right around there, for uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. We're trying to play through that game to completion. So I hope to see you guys there. And, of course, thank you, everybody, so much for joining me tonight. I appreciate you all. Nate, as always. Rue, I know you're not here, but if you somehow see this, thank you. Mr. Noodle and Kane, thank you for coming out tonight if you're still around, bud. I appreciate you all, and I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye. Eastern Standard Time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. 5530 EST. That's a that's good. Good point, love. Thank you. <laughs> Bye everyone.